Hey guys and welcome to a new video. If you're watching this video and you've never heard my voice before, it's because you just started playing RuneScape 3 since the release on Steam, or you're interested in playing RuneScape 3. Well in that case, this is the video for you as I'll be going over some suggestions for new players and I'll be covering the Steam release. So when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. So the first thing I'd like to cover is a simple flowchart consisting of some video suggestions depending on the type of player you are. If you're unsure if you want to play RuneScape 3 or not, I do have a serious critique aka in-depth review of the pros and cons of RuneScape 3. If you are a returning RuneScape 3 player, I suggest watching my RuneScape 3 recap video to get an idea of all the important updates you've missed. Then proceed by securing your account using the video I recommend after that. Both of these are linked in the description below by the way. If you're a new player coming from old school, you already know most of the basics of RuneScape, and there will be many, many similarities. However, you most likely will not be familiar with the combat system, which is why I recommend watching that video first. After that I suggest a slightly older video I have made covering things you should do before and after buying membership and then end off by securing your account if you haven't already. If you are completely new to RuneScape, I suggest checking out my beginner's guide to get a good idea of what you can do in this game. As a second follow up video, I recommend watching my combat for beginners guide to learn the ins and outs of the complex combat system in this game. Then watching the before and after membership video, remember all of these videos are optional, I'm simply suggesting in what order you would want to watch them, if you plan to watch them at all, and then finally watch the video on how to secure your account safely. Please keep in mind that this video is slightly older and because Steam has been released, if you are playing through Steam do not forget to turn on two-factor authentication on Steam as well. I believe this requires the app on your phone. You can link your Steam account to RuneScape. If you don't know how to do this, go to the official RuneScape website by typing in runescape.com, go to the top corner of the website and click on account, log in, then in your account overview, click on linked accounts. Then click on manage Steam in this overview. Now I will mention one thing, if it does disconnect for whatever reason and send you back to the login page, just keep logging in and trying again. This happened to me personally as well. I had to log in three different times until I got the option to link my account with my Steam ID. Once it does start working, click on link and log in using your Steam account details. Once you log in, click on allow and your Steam ID will now be linked to your RuneScape 3 account. Now you don't need to link your account to Steam for this reward, but if you log in before November the 14th, you do get a Steam pack reward. If you've linked your account through Steam and you log in through Steam, you do get a bunch of those achievements if you've done them already. This obviously only happens if you've already played RuneScape and you have an existing account. I can't really talk about the trading cards yet as they don't seem to be available yet and it'll take another week. Another thing I'd like to cover is the Steam packs, including membership keys and cosmetic rewards. You have the Starter, Standard, and Max pack. Now surprisingly, for what you get in terms of membership and keys, which are microtransactions by the way, for the players that do not know, the first two packs seem to be a good value, however this is misleading. As a new player, those keys won't do much for your account whatsoever. So, the actual price of those starter packs compared to actually buying membership regularly is not worth it. It's way, way more expensive. And at the end of the year, there's this thing called Premier Club Membership, which is discounted membership if you are interested in getting membership at that point. So, if you're a newer player starting to play RuneScape 3, just stick to free to play for now, and once you're interested in membership, go ahead and get yourself membership through the website regularly or wait until there's a discount. There's usually discounts in the summer as well. Or if you happen to get enough money in game, you can buy yourself a bond and get membership with in-game currency, aka GP or gold pieces. Although as a new player, again, I don't necessarily recommend that because getting a bond is a lot of money and it will be gone in an instant. I was planning to turn this video in a sort of beginner's guide as well, referring to some goals you should strive for, but then I realized I basically referred to a bunch of useful videos at the start of this video already. 
If you've watched the videos I recommended to you depending on the type of play you are, either returning, new, or from old school RuneScape, you should be well off of RuneScape 3. The only thing I really want to emphasize is do things at your own pace, explore the world, and don't feel forced to follow a certain playstyle just because you watched the video. That includes my own videos. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, and I wish you the best of luck on your RuneScape 3 adventure. If you ever have any questions or you need some help, feel free to join my Discord server linked in the description below. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.